That's funny as goes in. This field is set. He hits the button now and he let them go. They're racing. La Bionda was the first to step out of the gates. Perfurio jumped away nicely. Lorf is going to ease back behind them. And now Uncle Lino pressing on at the crossing. Goes up, takes the lead soon afterwards. Coming over Swift Platinum. And that's funny as might burn them all off. That's funny as accelerating quickly. Goes to the lead from Uncle Lino and Swift Platinum up running third. Kia Ora star travelling to fourth. La Bionda's down on the inside next of all as they work over towards the back straight. Pom out side of it, then a length and a half, Perfurio the pace is on, on the rails fuel, the Friar a length and a half to Lorfi who's going to cool off back there in the field in the second half and follow Perfurio Champagne Gal next on the rail then a further length, My Fair Ballantyne with duck feet, second last back towards the tail is Shadow Hunter a thousand metres to go and they've stepped it out at a lively gallop here down the riverside, that's funny as hard up onto the bridle by a length over the grey, Swift Platinum, Uncle Lino third, then in fourth placing is Kia Aura Star enjoying a perfect trip over on the outside for Yule. Back on the inside then is La Beyonder and being shaded by Pom. A further length behind those to fuel the Friar. Back behind them, Noski's biding his time with Perfurio 600 from home. A length and a half to Champagne Gallon. Pike's getting to work now on Lorfi as Noski makes his move. He was the first to go. He went, the trigger came three deep and Pike tried to stick with him on his back from My Fair Ballantyne. Duck feet back a clear last shadow hunter into the straight at the 300. That's funny as by three quarters. Uncle Lino, Kia Aura Star joined them very quickly. Here comes Perfurio down the outside from La Bionda. Kia Aura Star reaches the lead from Uncle Lino. Lorfi starting to make up ground. Kia Aura Star the leader. Perfurio coming and so is Lorfi and so is the post. And Kia Aura Star is going to hold them all at bay. Kia Aura Star beat Lorfi. Perfurio from Uncle Lino close up. La Bionda likewise deep out by Fair Ballantyne running on. In behind them to duck feet. Champagne Gal, that's funny as Shadow Hunter. Fuel the Friar beat a couple home, including Swift Platinum, and last of all is Pom. Kia Aura Star, it's a double for Michael Lane. And Kira Yule, he indicated earlier that this horse had been building and building and was just about right. Three Kia Aura Star wins, race five. Kira Yule, a winning double with Michael Lane, the Blackfriars gelding home. And ends a real runabouts of 674 days since his last taste of victory. And it just continues this purple patch that the Lane Stable and certainly Kira Yule are currently in. We stand by for Miners, Lorfi and Perfirio, both trying to cut the margin down with Uncle Lino, who was close up. Three is the winner, Kia Aura Star. Number six, Lorfi has grabbed second, William Pike. Seven, Perfirio. Jared Noski, third. And fourth, number four, Uncle Lino. Three, six, seven, four. And a half a length, a neck with the margins. The time, 151.44 and 36.39, the concluding 600. The winner is a Blackfriars Kia Aura Miss Gilding, raced by... A.S. Cherkop, Starline, Thoroughbred Syndicate, along with B. Brennan, J. Jones, D. Fagan, R. Princey, B. Fagan, and a winning double for Kira and uh, Michael Lane here this afternoon. And uh, Michael certainly indicating after we've got dreams at one earlier that this horse was awfully close, building and building, and was set to break the drought of 674 days, which it has done so this afternoon. And uh, no stopping Kira Yule right at the moment too. She's just continuing to churn them out and all of this Reward is for an extraordinary level of hard work behind the scenes. Uh, Lorfi, well, he got onto the back of Perfirio. Tactically, he, he had the right horse to follow there. Jared, the first to peel off and go, and Pike was right on his back there like a cheap suit. And uh, Lorfi was finishing hard, and Perfirio was going with him. But uh, the post has beaten them all along with Kia Aura Star. Lawfi is by Frost Giant from Black in Time, Liz Strimple and William Pike and Perfirio, a war champ mayor out of La Plunge, Brett Pope and Jared Noski. So the next event of the day, the running of race six, the happy 40th Travis follows handicap over 1,000 metres, two Condor Hero and six Mr Genoa are the scratchings there. Two and six out of race six, starting time 3.15. I have trainer Michael Lane for a second time today. And, Laney, you did try to tell us that this horse was building towards something, but it's been 674 days and he breaks through today from an outside gate. We know how hard that can be at the 1,800-metre start. What were your discussions with Kira before the race? 
Um, well, I left it up to her, but we sort of we sort of thought we'd roll forward and uh, you know, roll the dice a bit. Um, and it worked out that we the way we sort of planned it doesn't always work out that, that he that he got in. So yeah, look, great ride. Um, just come nice, come, come across nice and steady. Not don't try not, not use too much petrol up and um, try, hopefully get a posse. What was the key to today's victory? Is it a horse that you've just had spot on here today? It obviously had been a little while since yeah. he had saluted the judge. Well, he's been a bit unlucky, Brett. You know, and to be fair. But he, we'll probably learn a bit. He's got to be up there a bit on the pace. He only, he's only got a short kick. As you see, they're sort of starting to get to him late. Um, so when you draw a bad barrier, you tend to go back on him. Then he looks like he's a bit unlucky. But I just think he's sort of like running to the end of his run. So, oh, no, he's, look, he's been a horse that had problems early on, uh, leg-wise. But he's, probably, he's got sound as, as the years have gone on. So, you know, there's definitely more wins in store. I think he'll get more ground too. Um, a sort of a stay that can sit up there on the pace. So we've never, we sort of tried him, but it's always been late in the preps. So we're going to step him up a bit quicker this time. So that's the plan. Yeah. We're looking forward to seeing what he can do over further. Now, Kerry Yule, that is her hundredth winner of the season. How do you view the season that she's had? You must be awfully proud. Yeah, very, very proud of her. Um, oh, she's done it all. So it's got, hasn't got much to do with me, really. She'd ride winners, whether it was for me or anyone else. But um, yeah. Really rap for her. Have you seen her grow in confidence? Oh, yeah, heaps. Oh, she's just a different kid, you know. I mean, she just, I don't know, she didn't, just lost her confidence, I think, there for a bit. And now it's great, you know. Yeah, she's down there riding track work in Bunbury, like she had for a long time. But, yeah, it's good to be in this form. And, and to be able to give her a, a kick along is great. She works hard. She deserves these opportunities. And your stable is on absolute fire, giving her plenty of opportunities as well. Well done. Take it with me and get it, Britt. <laughs> That's so. what you have to do. Michael so. Lane, uh, trainer of Kiora Star, brings up a double. Kiri Yule brings up her 100th winner of the season. That is no mean feat. Congratulations to Kira because uh, she deserves this. She works extremely hard. And her resurgence this, uh, this season has been uh, nothing short of remarkable. So well done to them. Kiora Star taking out race number five.